Hey, it's Mr. H, and this week I've been really interested in Steiner chains. You see, in geometry, a Steiner chain is a set of circles, all of which are tangent to two given non-intersecting circles. As you can see here, I have an inside circle and an outside circle. Those circles need to be given. The rest of the small green circles constitute what's called a Steiner chain. And it's really interesting to try to create a simulation in Desmos of this Steiner chain. The one that you see right here is called a closed Steiner chain. Um, that is because the circles that are green are all inside of that blue circle on the outside. You can also have an open Steiner chain where you have things on the outside and it's kind of inverted from what you currently see here. Notice that each of the green circles are tangent to one another in a chain surrounding the inside circle, and they're also tangent to both the inside circle, the blue circle in the middle, and the outside circle on the outside, internally tangent to those. So it's a lot of things that you have to keep track of in building a simulation so that all of the circles fit all of these criteria. And there's a lot of interesting things that were discovered by a man named Jacob Steiner back in the 19th century, and he figured out many of the different properties of what goes on in a Steiner chain. So one of the really neat things about this is that it involves an idea called circle inversion. And so a lot of the equations are a little bit more complicated looking here, but really you can do all of the things in the Steiner chain at once using that method of circle inversion. And if you're interested in seeing more on that, you can toss that down in the comments below and I would love to make a video for you on how circle inversion works. Another interesting thing about what's going on with these Steiner chains is that you can build what's called a Pappus chain. And so the other simulation that I've made for you that I'm gonna show you here in a minute is called a Pappus chain. And I find it even more interesting to look at. I've also added the ability to animate this so that you see the rotation of these and you can see the building of more and more circles in your Steiner chain. So here is a Pappus chain. Now, this is such an interesting thing to look at because those circles get smaller and smaller, but they still have the fundamental ideas of tangency of any other type of Steiner chain. But the neat thing is that you could zoom in and it would really, sort of like a fractal, go down to infinite, infinitesimal sized uh, little circles as they have to get closer and closer together to squeeze inside there. And all of the outer circles are going to be centered, or sorry, the center of all of these circles, those green circles on the outside, is going to be on an ellipse. Now this was actually discovered by Pappus of Alexandria in the 3rd century AD. And again, this uses circle inversion to build a very interesting shape where these green circles get smaller and smaller as they go around the blue circle, both tangent to the blue circle on the inside and tangent to the blue circle on the outside. And you can see that it really fills up the space as it goes closer and closer down in there toward the left. So a very interesting shape. And I have here the animation for you, the simulation for you to be able to use, and you can look through through all of these equations to see how this operates. Now, if you would like to subscribe and like this video, it helps me out, but also please go down into the description and check out all of the links that I have, especially the links to these two files so that you can have them for yourself. Thanks.